Hey guys, Matt from Custom 4x4 Specialties. Today I'm going to show you how to fill the holes on a Humvee that was uh, armor plated. Uh, a lot of these things had the armor plating on them and they, uh, they take them off and they leave you with all these holes. All these holes, all down the side. Uh, a lot of guys out there, they use the plastic plugs. Uh, to me, that looks horrible. They fall out. Um, and I just don't like how they look. So I'm going to show you how uh, I'd like to fill them. Uh, first of all, you, 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 gr you grind all the carp paint off. Um, I would suggest you do that with a, uh, a carbide bit, something like this, um, rather than uh, a grinder or a flap disc like this, because that will impregnate the carp paint into the aluminum and you'll get a dirty weld. So carbide bit. Then what you need to do is you need to drill these holes out um, round because with all that armor plating on it, they move the holes elongate so you don't have round holes anymore. So you need to drill those out to at least uh, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths. Uh, I already did ours at 11 sixteenths. And then what we're gonna do, uh, also these holes in the back, uh, they have these little straps in the back. Um, those holes in the back, you also need to drill those out because the cart paint is in the holes. And once you start to, even though you clean out here, you're going to have the cart paint on the inside. Once you start to weld, uh, it's going to give you a dirty weld. So you need to uh, just drill those out from 3 sixteenths to quarter inch real quick. And just real quick. clean welds. So then what we're going to do take three quarter aluminum stock and we're going to turn it down on the lathe down to 11 sixteenths. I already have mine turned down a little bit. We're going to turn a little bit more down because we need I think well, we, need, uh, five, seven, nine, we need 14 of these. Or if you don't have a lathe you know, this is just a cheap mini lathe. Um, you can just drill the holes out to three quarter and just, just use three quarter stock. So you don't have to uh, turn it down on the lathe. Safety first. to 11 sixteenths. Then what we're going to do is bring it over to the bandsaw. Again, not real expensive stuff here. Uh, because we need so many, I have a stop set and we're going to go ahead and cut how many did I say? 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 14. <laughs> All right, so we got our 14 pieces cut. We're ready to go. fit. Maybe not. There we go.
Okay, so here are the holes, all filled, welded, ground, uh, flat, and ready for some glazing compound. So, you know, we have these little holes back here, the big holes here, all these holes here and here. So just wanted to show you that all finished, uh, you know, before we put some uh, glazing compound on it and uh, get some primer on it. So when, uh, when it's all done, I'll see you back with one. Okay, our holes are all done. Glazing putty, shot some primer over it just to cover the spots. Uh, five holes here, two, two, two and two, one here, and two and two and two. Can't tell there are holes, it looks great. Um, the next one, next video is gonna be on a 10 point roll cage, swing outs, front and rear, inch and three quarter, claw molly. So we'll see you on the next one.